Hello everyone, this is Tyler with Diesel Laptops. I am excited to be here today to show you what the Texa Truck Tool can do on a Mitsubishi Fuso. To be even more specific, this is a 2013 Mitsubishi Fuso. This is their Cantor series, and this one has a 4P10 engine in it. So we're going to go through here and connect this thing and kind of show you exactly what it can and can't do. So it doesn't take too terribly long to connect to this thing. There we go. We're right in there. Let's start the parameter screen. Right off the bat, you can see we have 155 different parameters up there. So that is a ton of parameters. You'll notice on the right-hand side now, uh, it does take a second for things to kind of refresh, but there they go. And what you'll see is high and low values while we've been connected to the ECM. So the ones in red and the ones in green will kind of give you an overview of uh, what it's been while you've been connected to it. When you first do connect to it, you do get some kind of weird like default values, but it does take a second there to refresh and all the values will pop right up in there just like that. So 155 is quite a bit. Uh, there is quite a bit of things going on with these little trucks. So a lot of sensors going on in today's modern technology with all the emission requirements and everything else going on. So as we go down here, you'll start seeing on the right-hand side, some of those have question marks next to them. Uh, I'm not gonna do it now, but if we would click on it, you would see some information. And then um, on the right-hand side, there's a little button down there you can click on where it'll kind of tell you about that code and why we would be on that code or that, that particular parameter and what we'd be looking at. So as we go down through here, you'll see everything else that you'd ever want to know about what's going on with your engine. Turbo levels, add blue levels, uh, how the add blue system's working, uh, up above further we saw some life expectancy type stuff which would be some maintenance reminder information that comes in there and as we get near the very bottom down here what we'll be taking a look at next is the fault code screen so there's the rest of the parameters being shown all 155 of them let's check out the faults this particular vehicle has six or seven different ones you'll see it's given two codes the one in the parentheses is actually the correct code. So all the code troubleshooting is built onto the Texa tool that we sell here at Diesel Laptops. And we also have a bunch of wiring diagrams built into the system as well. So I click the icon, I pop in over here, it brings up the wiring diagram, and it tells us exactly where to go look for on that particular vehicle. So some good information in here, everything's defined, nice, easy to find. Just gonna click through the code so everyone kind of see what they are and give you some examples. Uh, the reason we do this too is we use these videos a lot of times to show other people what the tool can do and compare it to other tools. So there's the ECU info tab and you'll see there's our VIN number, programming levels, all kinds of things. Activations, there's a pile of them. Cylinder cutout tests, add blue tests, uh, pressure regulating valve and rail tests, all kinds of things. And over on the settings tab, this is where we have all of our DPF regeneration stuff and there's also a teach-in process. So the teach-in process that's going to have a whole bunch of different commands in there that you can do for learning commands on different components that you have to re you have to run that command when you replace on a Mitsubishi Fuso. So now that we did the uh, engine, I want to go talk about another section on this vehicle. So we want to go look at the transmission because at, um, Allison's the most common transmission out there, but these import trucks typically don't use it. And Mitsubishi Fuso has their own transmission, which we're going to connect to here, uh, the Duonic transmission. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I believe that's how it's pronounced. You never really can tell with this import stuff. But here we go, waiting for the device to initialize. That's just making sure we're doing this all Bluetooth. They're talking to each other, making sure things are working as they should. And we're going to make sure the key's in the on position and press the confirm button. And now we just give it a couple seconds and there we go. So right off the bat, uh, everything looks the same as it did on the engine. Let's check out these tabs parameter tab, we now have 137 more parameters and live values that we can look at. And we'll scroll down the list here somewhat fairly quickly so everyone kind of just get an idea of what it's going on or what it's showing. And again, keep in mind if they show up nothing or not shown or some weird number, just give it a second to refresh. It is reading things in live real time as we scroll through the vehicle. So there's obviously a lot of things going on with these new transmissions that, Al, uh, sorry, I keep on saying Allison, that Mitsubishi Fuso has come out with. And obviously those transmissions need to watch all kinds of other things going on around it, Trans uh, engine speed and road speed and accelerations and everything else you can possibly imagine. So we'll get down through the list here. 
only a couple more to go. Uh, you'll see on the right, again, if we would click on them and then hit the little icon in the lower right of our screen, it would tell us a little information about that command and or about that parameter and what we could do with it. The faults tab, again, we double click it. We have our code, it tells us exactly what's going on. We would then hop into the Mitsubishi manuals or the DTC solutions on the laptop in order to fix those codes. And there we hit the little, the little button so we can see exactly what the Texas software says we should do to fix that code. ECU info, never too exciting. Software levels, VIN numbers, activations. So again, with these automatic transmissions, there's a lot of commands we need to be able to run. There they all are. And then the parameterization screen. So I just want to thank everyone for watching our watching our video here. Um, actually, let's, let's go through here, press confirm. So this is here now where you would go through to actually run the different things you could change on the vehicle, tire sizes, gear ratios, any kind of input values that you would need to change on the vehicle. Transmission. All right, so again, thank you for watching our video and stay tuned for more.